I'm not late. I'm right on time. See? Ha <laughs> ha. Whoops. Oh! <laughs> Lear coming in here just to keep me honest. My goodness. Hello, everybody. Go. Music and stuff. We're not going to start right away as we normally don't do, but hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? Oh, thank you, <laughs> Kazu. Uh, I'm trying to go for a, you know, a look. Here comes the Thank you, Jam Jam. Very, very kind of you. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> Why, indeed. I, I was trying to go for, oh my goodness, I'm being bullied right now. Trying to go for a look similar to the character of this game, but, uh... As, uh, I can't remember who it was, it might have been Jam Jam? Uh, kind of described me more as, like, all you need to do is put on some white face paint and, uh, you'll just be a member of KISS. And I'm like, you know what? I'm fine with striking two different chords, you know? Yeah, that was me, what about it? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, had the same <laughs> Oh no, I've reached that point. Cooking, not looking. That's absolutely fine, Eruin. Sorry for not saying the hellos yet. I'm a little bit spaced out. I, um, so Dwarf Fortress came out on Tuesday, and I have like 25 hours or something in it at this point. I need help. Someone help me, please. <laughs> for the love of God, help me. <laughs> It did, yeah, on Steam. The, like, the, the premium, quote-unquote, came out. I have been obsessed with it, unfortunately. <gasps> Disco, what have I done to deserve this? I wasn't late, I promise. I just was like, all right, we'll quickly go and grab some water. But I want cold water. And for some reason, the water that comes out of the tap from the bathroom is colder than the tap in the kitchen. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna quickly go and grab water from there. And then it was just like, oh, well, we, I need to move the Q-tips for a second because they're they're not quite in the correct spot. And then it was just like, oh, well, actually the little like shelf thing that has all the stuff in it could be organized a little bit. So I'm, you know, moving like my toothbrush in a different position and the, the you know, <laughs> and all of a sudden I'm like, I don't have time for this. Why am I doing this? I have literally no time for this. I have seconds to get back to my computer. But I could also move this a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm just a tad bit late. You went to get water and ADHD kicked in. Yeah, exactly. It was just like, no, no. This thing. And I also might have been playing Dwarf Fortress up until like 15 minutes before stream because I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the screw pump mechanics and I want to figure them out. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure it out. It was really funny because I'm like, okay, I'm going on a quick tangent. I promise we'll get into the game as soon as possible. But I'm like, oh, how does the screw mechanic, like the screw pump mechanics work? So I set it up and tried to build it. And it was just like, no, you need like an actual like these two materials for it. I'm like, all right, fine, we'll make those really quickly. So I did. And then I'm like, okay, cool. And I built like a little, like little room for it to see, like, so to see if it could be filled up with water. And it's like, oh, it has to be done manually. So I had one of my dwarfs come over and like activate it and like, you know, like manually process it. So the room got filled up and it got filled up with so much water that the dwarf got washed away. <laughs> He got thrown into the next area and just kind of like got up and brushed himself off and wandered away. And I'm like, okay, we're going to have to do this automatically because manual is clearly too dangerous. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So I've been trying to do that. But the problem is, is that the water is on like elevation level negative four and my ground floor is at like elevation level like 47. So I have to like dig a giant hole to like put the the gear materials down in order to actually do the transfer of stuff. 
Sounds like he survived, so it doesn't seem too dangerous to me. Hmm. Pom pom. I think you're misunderstanding how dangerous it was. But also, uh, forgot a really important thing here. Hello, everybody. How's it going? How has your week been so far? Hello to everybody who's here. Hello, Blue. Hello, Bells. Hello, Disco. Hello, Pom Pom. Hello, Jam Jam. Hello, Leer. Hello, Kazu. Hello, I'm missing somebody already, and I feel terrible right now. <laughs> I'm really bad with naming, remembering. It is my worst trait. I'm sorry to everybody who I missed. Please yell at me. <laughs> So that I can apologetically say your name. Oh, Denzel, of course. That's right. Denzel being an MVP uh, mod and uh, immediately fixing his mistakes like an absolute champion. Nah, dude. You did the right thing. We appreciate you. I just saw... I, like, looked away for a second and then looked back and just saw, like, Denzel, 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 Denzel. And I'm like... What in the world happened? <laughs> I first thought, like, maybe you, like, accidentally, like, you know, like, hit a button that did something. I didn't know it would be so public. No, no, you're good, dude. Because I was like, man, I know what I would do in a situation if I had hit the wrong button. I would have freaking panicked and just, like, desperately tried to fix it. Hey, Stitches, how's it going? Hello, Cray! How are you doing? And yeah, I was just like, ah, or at least I would have been like, ah, ah, hit all the buttons. It's fine. We can fix this. <laughs> <laughs> so I appreciate you really quickly fixing that. It's, it's very appreciated. We appreciate a mod who's willing to, who's willing to go the extra mile. That's all I'm saying. I don't mean to point it out. This is supposed to be a positive thing, but I'm realizing the more I'm talking about it, the more light I'm shining on it, and probably the more anxiety I'm causing, so I apologize. <laughs> oh, it's not that surfs. It's not that surfs. Carry on. <laughs> Cut to Denzel just in his room, just with a, with a, with a, or a small handkerchief, just dabbing his forehead. It's perpetually, it's just like, if I try to play it cool, maybe he'll stop talking about it. I'm projecting at this point, because that's how I would be in this scenario. I'd be like, oh god, if I just say that everything's fine, you know, if I lie, the problems will go away. <laughs> Remember kids, honesty is important. But, as you guys can see, today we are going to start our journey of Mirror's Edge. Out of curiosity, who here has actually played Mirror's Edge before? That's okay, you banned someone. <laughs> I just did because you thought they were fun. That's amazing, Stitches. That's amazing, though. That is you being like, are you ready? Because you're about to get gunned down. And they're just like, I'm just a guy. And you're like, that's not oil coming out of the wound. Hmm. Perhaps another bullet will get us Will get us there. You haven't, Kazu. It's a great game. Bo I believe... Okay, Lear, I presume that you've also played uh, Catalyst then. Um, do you remember if that game was just as good because I have such a bad memory of it, but I remember liking Catalyst. Yeah, uh, the second Mirror's Edge game. It's Mirror's Edge and then it's Mirror's Edge Catalyst, which is essentially Mirror's Edge 2. Blue, please. What, am I just a piece of meat to you? I have a personality. I'm a human being! <laughs> Heard it wasn't that great. I did too, but I remember liking it. I don't remember how much I liked it, but I remember liking it. So, if people like 
Uh, this one will probably play Catalyst at some point too. Partly so that I don't have to model another character. <laughs> You know, saves me some time. Sorry, I'm chugging water at the moment because I have not... Uh... Today's been an interesting day. What is with all these cool cats? I register that you guys are all the coolest of cats. But this is just flexing, you know what I mean? There's a difference between, like, being cool and then... Putting on a pair of sunglasses, cool. You know, one of them is subtle. First Amira's Edge game is a very good self-contained. I agree. It was a very, very good game. I enjoyed the heck. I think I've beaten it twice at this point. Captain, hello. How are you? Long time no see. Hope things are going well. Never heard of this game, but I'm here for you. Uh, but I'm here for you, not so much for the plague. Wow. Erwan, does that mean that my game choices mean nothing to you? Could I play, I don't know, insert really bad game title here, and you'd be just like, I'm down with this. Down with this, I'm down with this situation. You're all right? I'm glad to hear it, bud. Always good to see you here. Oh, Eruan, how could you be like this? Could you be so cool? <laughs> but chat, it, uh, I do agree with, uh, with Lear. It is definitely a very self-contained story. I really like the story. Um, the actual concept of the city, at least in terms of look, I ended up liking it so much that, um, don't worry, it's all a far <laughs> facade. Ah, I see. Gonna agree with Erwin, just here to hang out and listen. Well, I hope that you're ready to hear me talk about really pointless things because that's normally what happens. <laughs> but like, we'll we'll get into the city in a second when we start playing. But like, it's so, like even the, for the fact that this game is pretty old at this point. I think it's two thousand and eight. Let me do a quick check. I should know this. This is like having a job interview, you know what I mean? You need to be aware of this so that you can immediately be like, tell us something about your company. Or tell us something that you like about the company. It's like, well, let me tell you about the things that I know about the company. 2010. There we go. Came out in 2010, so it's a freaking 12-year-old game. Ugh, that hurts to say. But it's fine. Um, it can get a little janky sometimes, but also I can be, um, how to say, I can be a little bit bad at video games too sometimes. Sorry, we need to all tab for one second because the stuff's in the wrong place and it's upsetting me. There we go. Sorry, just re-catching up because I felt like like that they gave me money for working there. Working where exactly, Captain? Sorry, I must have missed a message somewhere. If so, I, apo I apologize. Uh, play his watch paint dry simulator. <laughs> Coming to a stream near you. It's literally going to just be a just chat stream, but with paint drying. You know, on the side. It's like, as you can see, the bottom is starting to get a little bit damp due to the drips that are going down. Clearly, this particular wall was not painted very well since the paint is not evenly distributed. What the heck is happening right now? Why was there a timeout? What happened? What did I miss? I feel like I'm missing streams. <laughs> When I was younger, I vaguely remember just playing the demo over and over again before I had the full game. That's a frickin' mood, Lear. That is a frickin' mood you were talking about. Uh, being able to say something about a company you work for. 
My statement is, I like that they pay me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like working where I work because I get paid to do so. <laughs> and payment keeps food on my table and a roof over my head. Already a John and John scenario. Oh my goodness. Pom Pom, do I look like I have the capability to be creative all day, every day? I'm definitely going to put my best foot forward, but... Knowing Twitch, this is the kind of stream that would... Oh my god, everyone. That sounds terrifying. The idea of... Um... Oh, Jam Jam, you're such a butt. You're such a butt. <laughs> oh, lordy. Hold on. Let me get the timer out. Are we gonna are we getting an ASMR redeem too? Just uh just uh you get the full package? Is that what's gonna happen? Mm hmm. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> I didn't think about the fact that um you know, having redeems means people might actually use them. Oh god, I'm gonna need to grab more water after this. Alright, give me a second. We're gonna miss the music for a moment. No, that was the wrong button. My mouse, there's my mouse. Alright. Hopefully this doesn't crash the game, but if it does, it's an easy open. Ooh, hope that squeak didn't go through. Uh, cooking, so no translations for anyone, so you're all on your own. Oh no, the only person who has some semblance of capability to understand me. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Also, I did not know how much I shift around when I talk. Like, I know that I do, just as we're starting this up. But I didn't realize how much I was doing it until I looked back on the Just Chatting VOD that we did a couple days ago. And I'm like, oh my god, I do not sit still. Like, I'm constantly looking all over the place. I am, you know, like, my eyes are darting in all directions as if I'm looking at some invisible notes that I've taken for myself. I'm like, oh, good lord. Guessing what you're saying is the fun part anyways, yeah? Hey, Mandalorian, how's it going? Also, the also an ADH thing. No, don't worry. I worry about it now that I'm, like, kind of looking for it. It's like, ah, shit. All right. On, on. Hope everybody's ready, because this is going to be the most pointless freaking story. Also, Mandalorian, I'm sorry that I've interrupted your book reading. All right. On three. One, two, three. So, we're now going to talk. Oh, we gaan een klein beetje zachtjes praten, dus ik bedoel. And we gaan nu uh, uh, Jan en Jan zijn verf uh, aan het kijken te zien. Dus. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, hoe doe ik dit? Hoe doe ik dit? Probeer. Ik heb helemaal vergeten hoe je. Jan en Jan doet. Ach, yes. Ja. Jan, wij zitten hier op het moment een muur aan het bekijken om te zien hoe vlug dit verf kan verdrogen. Is dat niet hoe het is? Ja, Jan, dat is precies wat we aan het doen zijn. Wij proberen te zien of wij kunnen vinden het vlugste verf dat ooit kan drogen. Precies, ja. Dat is wat wij aan het doen zijn. Dus, wat hebben we zo vaak? <laughs> op het moment, ja, op het moment hebben we alleen maar 
heel klein stukje dat misschien droog is. Maar we kunnen het niet raken. Want als we het raken, dan is alles weg. Precies, Jan. Wij kunnen niks aanraken. Wij moeten alleen maar kijken. En wat hebben we zo ver te zien? Nou, Jan, wat wij hebben te zien is dat uh, een klein drupje verf nu heel langzaam uh, naar het muur valt. Heel, heel langzaam. En wat zien we daar? Nou, Jan, dat betekent dat het verf niet heel goed was opgezet. Want het probleem is, al het verf moet heel precies laten uh, opgezet. En het is niet goed opgezet, want het is een klein drupje verf nu. Dat is precies waar, Jan. Het, pro het, uh, het is echt een probleem. Nou, zou dit uh, problemen maken voor het situatie? Nou, Jan, dat is een hele goede vraag. Wat kunnen we zeggen over dit klein drupje verf? Ik denk dat er bijna geen problemen zou zijn. Want het is gewoon maar één drupje. Nou, we zien alleen maar één drupje, Jan. Maar wat gebeurt er als er nog een drupje zou komen? Nou, Jan, je gaat een klein beetje te ver met zulke dingen. Er is op geen punt een één andere drup. Oh god, Jan, zie je dat? Oh, Jan, ik zie het. Er is nog een drup van verf. Jan, ik ben nooit zo... Uh, ik heb nooit zoveel energie als dit moment. Jan, dat denk ik ook. De enige reden dat we heel zachtjes praten, is omdat uh, als we te veel praten, misschien is het, het warmte van ons... Uh, uh, hoe zeg je dat? Het warmte van onze stem kan misschien maken dat het verf niet zo vlug zou drogen. Dat is een probleem. Ja, Jan, we moeten heel zachtjes praten om te zeker weten dat dat niet gebeurt. Natuurlijk, dat is hoe het gaat. Nou, Jan, wat hebben we nu te zeggen? Er is niks te zeggen, Jan. Er is niks te zeggen. Het verf is nog steeds droog. Nou. Dan wachten we gewoon een klein beetje meer. Is er nog iets anders dat je wil zeggen, Jan? Uh, nee, Jan, er is niks om te zeggen. Er is alleen te wachten voor het drogen van het verf. Nou, dan denk ik dat wij zo goed als uh, klaar zijn met wat we kunnen zeggen. Nou, Jan, dat is een klein beetje overdramaat. Er is een heleboel dingen te zeggen. Oh ja, Jan? Wat is er dan te zeggen? Nou, um, er zijn dingen om te zeggen. Ik denk dat dit het laatste van, de, van onze verfdrogen podcasts te zijn. Denk je niet dat dat een goed idee is, Jan? Ja, Jan, misschien is dat een goed idee. Nou, dan zeggen we uh, vaarwel uh, op het moment... En uh, natuurlijk, als wij altijd zeggen, dit is chocolade donder over en uit. And there is your five minute ASMR Dutch John and John watching paint dry. <laughs> I hope everybody had a great time understanding none of what I said. <laughs> oh, now I got hiccups. Yay. I did not watch the subtitles because I was too busy trying to focus on, um... <laughs> Hallo, Waal. Hoe gaat het met jou vandaag? Is alles goed, Waal? Ik hoop zo. There you go. You got a little bit, Waal. I hope that everything is going well for you today. You have a question. Go ahead, Lear. Omelette de fromage. Um... I don't know how to say omelet, but it is cas. So I think it would probably be. Well, no, let's take a let's let's take a look, Silu. You know what? We're gonna learn together today. Um, 
Why did you do that? Get out of here. Um, let. I guess spelled omelet, right? Let's see. Omelet. Yes. Omelet. Okay. So then it would be um, an cas, uh, a cas omelet, or omelet, because cas is cheese. So it would be a cheese omelet. Actually, now we're on this tangent. I apologize for this. So, fun little history story for those who don't know. I know that I've told this story before, but I apologize in advance. So, once upon a time. In uh, more, um, how to say, like, I believe this would have been still when the English were still, uh, owner had ownership of America, of the United States. There was a large Dutch population in New York. And for some reason, the English population did not like the Dutch very much. So there was a lot of tension between the two, uh, the two nationalities. So they would throw insults back and forth against each other. You know, a lot of shenanigans were happening. And then finally one day, uh, the English were like, you know what? The Dutch really like cheese. And a common name for them is John. You know, yum. So they started calling the Dutch John Cheese. And the Dutch did a, I am rubber and you are glue, whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you, and started calling the English John Cheese, which in Dutch is Jan Case. And that is the origin story for the New York Yankees. <laughs> the Jan Case. That is a true story. Hope everybody enjoyed. New York John Cheese, yep. That is actually where the, the the name kind of originates from. I believe there was some iterations to it that eventually led to it. <laughs> it's just a cool fact that I learned in history class one day. because I only remember because my teacher was just like, does anybody know what the Dutch... Um, the Dutch word for cheeses, and I was just like, oh, it's cas. But they're just like, is there another way to say it? I'm just like, yeah, like a case. He's just like, yep. It's really just <laughs> John Cheese speak. Them dang John Cheeses, you know, ruining it for the rest of us. I love that everybody's just like, oh no, oh, but this goes into other facets and like different songs and lores. Does that mean that the Chris used to be a predominantly British town? I don't know. Or Yonkers? <laughs> I don't know. Oh goodness, here we go. Leave it to Jam Jam to bring up cannibalism once more in my chat. Jam jam. Cannibalism is wrong. Alright. We just we we need to establish this. It's important. <laughs> Kaz omelet. <laughs> uh jam jam, I'm pretty sure that's not true. Throw waffle. Oh, there you go. That would definitely be my, you know, like omelette de fromage being the um, being the seductive. I would do strop waffle as my like seductive thing. It'd be like strop waffle, and they'd be just like, oh, and I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, Blue! Stop it, bud.
Uh, Stropwafel. Yeah, nice try. It's not happening. Stropwafel. <laughs> oh god, I see I've made a mistake. <laughs> Stropwafel. Help me. Someone help me right now. This is the equivalency of having, like, hiccups, but the hiccups are triggered by somebody casting a redeem. No, you have to say it seductively. Do I have to do that, though? I have a couple of thirsty people in chat. I don't know if that's healthy for me, a say-so streamer, to do things like that. Just eat when it'll help. See? Roland knows what's up. <laughs> Stropwafel. Do you really want me to do this? Is this really the life that I have to live? Stropwafel. <laughs> Fine. You guys get one. Get one. Alright? Get one. You know, while we have this lovely music playing in the background. Alright. Stropwafel. Happy now? You happy now, you weirdos? <laughs> Half of the people in chat are just like, well, that was nice. Three people in chat are like, ugh, and like the rest are like, why? Why would you do that? Please, never do that again. They're doing the stop it get some help, to which I'm going to do the rubber and glue shenanigans, but I'm going to redirect it towards the people that did the us. <laughs> it's like, they need some help. <laughs> what am I even talking about right now? glad my camera's not picking me up my face right now because I'm just I'm just I'm just I have my head in my hands right now just, just this is the life I live I tried so hard to just be a say so boy and here we are was there any hope to begin with maybe not but I could try you know I was allowed to believe that I could be a say so boy but here we are. <sighs> God, I'm almost out of water already. Goodness gracious. How has it become like this? Uh. But is everybody ready for the games? Got you almost 40 minutes in and still on the opening stream. Go chat. It's true. What if there's a face tracker, but it senses you are blushing? Lear, you are talking about my nightmares right now. You have just activated a new, a new potential nightmare. <laughs> my face is pretty red right now. I'm just pretending to be confident. When you can't see that I'm freaking flushed, I can pretend to be confident. I can be like, ha, yeah, you guys think you can fluster me? Ugh, I'm unflusterable. There is no topic too titillating for me to lose my cool. But internally, I'm just like, I'm dying right now. Speaking of water, you gonna go get some? To catch my first move, it's a waffle time. Ten out of ten, Val. Good luck with your water gettings. You would like to see turn red like a tomato in real time. Oh god. Don't do that to me, Lear. That's mean. I'm just gonna keep drinking water and just No topic too titillating. Come on! It flowed so nicely. It has such a nice flow. Like just listen to that. Just no topic too titillating. Just rolls off the tongue. Thank you, Pom Pom, for the hydrate. You got a test tomorrow, Mandalorian. Well, kick that test's butt. That's what you gotta do. It is. That's why you called it out. 
right? Oh, I could totally see that turning into a tongue twister. Fake cool fact about cheese. I know some cool facts about cheese, but fake cool fact. Hmm. Oh, I need to check this. F I need to check this before I make this joke. There you go. You can make cheese out of almond milk. I don't think you can. I think you can make it out of just almonds. I don't think you can make it out of almond milk. I'm really careful about this, but. Herb, please. I'm allowed to make insensitive jokes all I want. That's why every time that <laughs> Jam Jam comments on DILFs, I always say that cannibalism is illegal and wrong. <laughs> But yeah, did you know? You know, fake cool fact about cheese, not the big boss. If you milk almonds, you can turn though that almond milk into cheese. I think I've heard people make yogurt. Oh no, no, Lear, it's supposed to be a fake fact. Dang it. Blue, I'm not even going down that road because I don't know how almond milk is made, so we're not going down that road. All right, we'll try a different one. Fake cool fact about cheese doesn't work on anything. Literally, it was the food that nature gave up on and humans decided to try to work with regardless. Does it mix with anything? Nope. Does it work with anything? Nope. Does it even taste good? Nope. Fake cool facts about cheese? Nature gave up on cheese, but for some reason we tried to endure. We don't even know why. <laughs> there we go. There's the fake cool fact about cheese. Mission failed success. <laughs> Do not. I don't really know how they're milked. Spencer, hello. How are you doing? All right, you know what? We're going to... Are we hating on cheese? I needed to... Herb, I needed a fake cool fact about cheese. So I had to fake it. I like cheese. But I needed to fake it. How almond milk is made. We're going to figure this out really quickly. Almond milk is made by blending almonds with water, then... Um, Straining the mixture to remove the solids. Oh, so they probably blend. Yeah, they blend all it. Oh my god, you could just make that on your own then, technically. Oh, that's actually pretty easy to make, all things considered. No one was hating on cheese. <laughs> Just like coffee is bean... Mm. There are going to be people who will fight you for that, Jam Jam. I can think of somebody in the chat right now who would fight you over that. Have you ever made cheese by leaving a cup of milk out for a week? I don't even know if what you just said is real or not. That sounds like it would just make a disgusting mess. The Frostback... Does everyone in here like the cold? I do like... Oh my god, I still have the things up. I'm gonna learn that. That's a that's a new thing that we're gonna learn about eventually. The next step or two we used to... Our grandma used to make our own. There has to be more steps to it though, isn't there, Erwin? It's kind of small, but spill, uh, spoiled cheese on purpose, so it's kind of true. Coffee is delicious bean water. You're right. You're right. Yes, yeah, Stitches, I got rid of it. Don't worry. 
I spotted it and oopsied, oopsied my way through it. It's fine. We fixed it. We fixed it. <laughs> Ugh. Seriously. Dwarf Fortress has destroyed my brain the last couple of days. So, like, I'm very distractible. Because it's one of those games, right, where, like, it's a big, you know, like, colony sim. So you're like, oh, I'm going to go and start this project right here. And then... Um... how to say you know you can like do this project but then something will happen just like a dwarf has died and you're like oh, what happened and then you're completely distracted because you're looking at that thing and you're just like ah get this thing figured out ah and then you're like what was i doing again ah, i'm sure it's not important yeah that's why you don't stream 4x games even though i'd love to ah oh, her favorite 4x game if you have if you have one How the fuck do you do that in a classroom? <laughs> Ooh, Stellaris! Let's go! I just recently played a little bit of Stellaris. I keep forgetting how much I enjoy that game until I go back to it and I'm like, oh yeah, this game is great! When you leave a cup of milk in a room for a week, that had to have stank though! How would no one have noticed the smell of spoiled milk? Actually, Herb, have you played... I swear we'll get to the game very soon. Um, have you played uh, Endless Space 2 by any chance? I think it's also a very fun game, specifically because the nations play, or the factions play so differently. Oh, it's, it's a super interesting game. Um, it's very much in the same idea of the four, the four X, but the races do a bunch of different things. Like some of the races just don't have. Hello. Uh, would you like me to call you janitor or Yan itter? <laughs> would that be the, which one of those would be the better options? And also welcome. But, like, there's some factions that, like, don't have a home world. Yum. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Because I'm used to just saying yum in, in the Dutch way. Like, uh, yeah, so there's, like, factions that don't have a home world. There's some factions that literally just have, like, a... How to say it, like a big fleet that just goes around and causes problems. There's a group that are like trees. They're like living trees. And, um... <laughs> Herb, just let me finish this. I swear I'll get to the game right afterwards. There's a, there's a... Yeah, there's a faction of like living trees that the way that they take over the... Are screaming in the background? Are you okay, not the big boss? That like it they need to like actually like uh push how to say like their spores, I guess, or like their their influence out through like the connections between the different systems in order to colonize them. But like when they're connected to those, they get like bonuses to the area, like um military bonuses and such. Super interesting. Would recommend. That's it. I don't really want to click on that, Bells. It scares me. I hit the wrong button again. All right. Let's look at it. You even put the little squiggle at the end. But it sounded like your mic picked up people screaming. There were some kids out in the hallway earlier. So it could be that you heard them. All right. We're looking at this. I'm going to hate this. I know I am. Why? Let's make sure that, okay, it is. Uh, I'm not okay with what I just heard. Thank you. I don't know if you heard the kids specifically, 
Um, not the big boss, but it is the most likely thing. Gosh dang it, my layers. There we go. All right. Are you guys ready for this game? I hope that people can handle it. Some people can actually get kind of nauseous because of this game. Yeah, Will, I swear I saw a ghost behind you, by the way. Oh, thanks, Lear. I appreciate that. But, like, I already know that he's there. I've named him Bob. He gets really mad when I call him Bob, though. Like, you know, he rattles the blankets and he pushes things over. But I just keep calling him Bob. It, it, I'm just basically playing a game of chicken. Have I played Mirror's Edge? I have. I have beaten it twice over the course of my lifetime. It is a great game as far as I'm concerned. We're going to hope that it runs nicely because I did test it out a few days ago and it seems like it's flowing well. <laughs> Lear, didn't that happen to didn't that happen to Haya like a few months ago? Where it's just like, why is my camera put like picking up things? <laughs> Yeah, I think it happened to Haya when she was testing something and she told a story about it. It was very funny. She's like, all of a sudden it started uh, recognizing things and I got scared. And I'm like, you should be scared. Hope oh, nobody gets six watching. Just stare at his arms if the game gets too difficult to handle. Yeah, but Blue, can you handle these arms? Can, can you, hold on. Can you, can you, what's the, what's the button again? Nope, wrong one. Can you handle these arms? Can you handle these arms? These arms? You can't. I need to remember where I was. Okay, that's where I was. All right, there we go. Wait, I'm too high up. Dang it, I'm getting that weird OCD shenanigan. Hold on, I'm just gonna go a little bit lower than normal. There we go, that's better. By the way, um. I did hear someone whisper seven days in the uh, seven days. You might want to check that out. <laughs> seven days. And I'm just like, I get it. The rent is due. Holy heck, landlord. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> and he's just like hiding just slightly in the corner. So you can't really see him. Imagine having a ghost landlord. Oh my god. Just like, why do you even care? You're incorporeal. Money means nothing to you. <laughs> and they're just like, rent is due. It's just like, do you even own this building anymore? That needs to be a manga. Lear, get on it. Come on. You're an artist. You got this. My landlord is a ghost? Like when new mothers say 18 months ago. <laughs> That's one and a half. That's one and a half years, ma'am. Please talk normally. We get it. You're 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 un you're underrested. You're you're uh, overstressed. But don't don't push that burden on the rest of us normal people. <laughs> that was a joke. In case anybody was curious, that was a joke. We're making a joke. All right, everybody. We're gonna go, we're gonna, we're, we're, we're almost an hour in. We gotta at least get one, one step. You know what I mean? In the, to, to, to follow in the great, the great memory of Kajimaju, we need to make sure that we're moving forward ever so slightly. So without further ado, we're gonna get started normal difficulty because that's that's fine a pillow throw but I'm just trying to get things started Lear I'm sorry Quick new game then just chat again no 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 we have to take one step in the game so we have to watch the little cutscene also the cutscenes in this game are really really nice ah! violence how dare you start the game right as you have to leave. <gasps> Bells, I'm sorry. Hold on. Stay really quickly. We'll just watch the intro cutscene. All right? We're doing it right now. No hesitations. Cutscene, 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 cutscene. 
Once the city used to pulse with energy, dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize or didn't care and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines, criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. Oh, they said the title. Out of sight. And the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. And cutscene over. I have a good one, Bells. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that's all took you out of commission for a while. Now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? Celeste's on run around duty, so get to her, just go with the flow, okay? There you go. Welcome to the City of Glass, Mirror's Edge. Welcome. Hope you guys like what you're about to see. I love the cutscenes. The only thing I have a problem with with the intro cutscene is when you transition into here and they're just like, yeah, you got to do the training force, but that fall took you out of commission. It's like, why didn't you show us her getting hurt and on the mend? Why didn't we get like just half a second of her just... Having a bad fall, bandage, and then her, like, taking the bandage off and kind of putting some pressure on her foot and then cutting to this. It's the only thing I have against it. That car. Jump. Oh, we have to jump. Crouch. Gotta do the squats. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> Come on, chat. Keep up. Tab for objectives. Right now, we need to learn the basic controls. Easy enough to learn. We're allowed to go. So, this game is a parkour game. So, most of the game is legit just you running around. There she is. Get after her. Teach me things, lady. Hi, Faith. Welcome back. I think I'm going to have to increase the vocals a little bit. But yeah, we get to see what she's doing. The dialogue, too. Da -da. Can't hear you. Maybe if we had a better signal. That should work. Well, all we have to do is follow her. Jokes on you. Oh, you want? I have to go over that thing, eh? All right. Well, isn't the game just picky as heck? And let me know how the volume is, by the way. If it's uh too low or too high. Also, if you guys don't like heights, we got heights. Movement is so satisfying. Once you figure out how to move in this game, it feels great. <laughs> I absolutely agree with you here. Is this the game like recently remade or something? I feel like I saw a trailer a few months ago. I am not sure. Oh, um, what was it? Ooh, oh, oh, don't look down. Down is scary. Um, there was what am I thinking? Oh, I'm thinking of uh, Dying Light, specifically. Because it has a uh, semi-similar, like, system in terms of climbing around. You see hypes. This game on VR would kill me. Oh my god, this game in VR would make you so nauseous. Alright, show me what you want. So I'm not sure, Jam Jam. 
Um, there is a second game, which came out in 2016, I believe. It's a, par a parkour game. <laughs> is this the parkour game? New outfit? Let's go, fashion icon. Hey, lawful. Yeah, we're doing the... So, I tried to do the tutorial last time and was so ready to use this thing as how I thought you were supposed to use it, which is to jump forward. But if you jump forward, you pl- Oh, God, the heights. You plummet. And that's not good. And uh, I don't like heights, so I jumped on this thing and then jumped and then fell and then my knees went numb. <laughs> I agree, Lear, but I have a suspicion that, uh... See, this is one thing that annoyed me a little bit about this part of the tutorial. Because I presumed that you needed to run at the wall, like run this way and then upwards and then jump, but it's not. They want you to run, um, like so. They want you to run sideways, otherwise they get upset with you. I'm making sure I don't miss anything. You felt the attitude in your butt. Um. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to say nothing else. Nothing gives you a vertical height like horizontal distance. An interesting choice of words, uh, Nightman. How are you doing, by the way? How's it going? Don't forget to let go properly. Because otherwise, you'll fly off and die. You live! You live! Damn right you do, bud. Hope things are going well for you. Yeah, this is one of the things that I, when I was younger, I had a hard time with. When you are, um, when you jump, when you hold shift, you'll curl up a little bit. Like so. And then the second time, right as you're about to hit the ground, if you hit shift, you'll do the roll. And the roll will help you prevent, um... I think, I've, I think I've goofed. I need a little bit of speed. There we go. Like, there's just a lot of, like, really simple little mechanics that you just need to be aware of. And once you have them, it's a good time. Birds! That'll teach those birds. Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. You know how he is. Oh yeah, there's combat in this game. Okay, come on. It's very simple combat. And a lot of the times in the game, if I recall correctly, it's just like, hey, don't do it. Uh, are there any straight up parkour action games like this? Dying Light has something kind of like this. It is a parkour action game. It's a zombie game though. So, you run around doing missions. It has a decent enough story. The combat itself is super good. I believe it's by the creators who did uh, Dead Island. They basically took the Dead Island combat, which is, you know, you have weapons that... Um, that break over time, but you can upgrade them and you can find them all over the place, etc., etc. Um, but it has a parkour system in it, which is actually relatively decent. Like, it has buildings that are specifically designed that if you jump on them, they will crumble under you, but they will break your fall. Um, you can jump into, like, garbage piles, which will break your fall and stuff like that. Dying Light was actually pretty good, but it had, it was more, um, how to say it, it was more, uh, combat focused than it was parkour focused. Hit. Oh, yeah. Low punch. Yeah. Drop kick. Oh, didn't do that early enough. All right, Faith. 
Let's run through some weapons. <laughs> Freaking to quote Dorn for a second, we're about to do some sparring practice with this gun I found. <laughs> Back. <laughs> oh my God, it actually has bullets. Mirror's Edge is one of those games where it feels like there should be a hundred indie games that are trying to emulate the movement, but I haven't seen enemy really. You're absolutely true. You're absolutely right. Absolutely true. Two sentences got jumbled up in my brain. <laughs> no, bad. R for slow-mo time. Bonk. Gun safety. The gun is always loaded. Okay, that's enough training, ladies. Gotta get to the real thing. Do we? Faith's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. Oh! See you later, Faith. Uh, bye. I don't remember your name. Does anybody remember her name? I don't remember her name. We'll call her Rebecca. She seems like a Rebecca. Electric Arts presents a really high up situation. Oh, God. A dice production. <laughs> Mirror's Edge. Oh, God. Also, a great little way of showing you the stuff that you can. Get out of here, birds. Oh, that's right. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, the music, though. Welcome back, Avatar. Oh fuck, my legs feel like jelly imagining this, right? Edge Lord. Thank you very much, Avatar. Oh, you monster. <laughs> well, now I don't know what we were supposed to do anymore. It's awful. And thank you, Avatar. That's very appreciated. I'm not an edge lord. I'm a runner. <laughs> Everybody get uncomfortable. So used to shift being the run button, so we need to not do that. Up. Also, an interesting thing about this game, like momentum is absolutely an important thing. If you, like, hold on, actually just to show, uh, where's a good spot? So let's see here, for instance. No, that's not good. Uh, oh, well, we'll have to cross anyway, so we'll do that first. Boxes, <laughs> yeet. What's that say? Item on. That's a lot of words. We're just gonna go over the big gap instead. Whoa! Oh! Don't look down, ladies and gentlemen. You're taking your sweet old time, so let's get pissed. She's almost at the comms tower, and you ain't. Get moving and give her the bag. Cell will take it from there. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to show stuff to my audience really quick. Like, for instance, you know, you jump up. Oh, she was actually doing it really quick. Hold on. See if I can. Nope, she's gonna just 
Make me a look to be a liar. Never mind. Ignore me. Ignore me. <sighs> nope, I missed it. Oh, God. <laughs> Get uncomfortable as heck, everybody. Ugh. All right, we got it this time. Oop. Why didn't you catch it? Game, why are you doing this to me? What am I doing wrong? Hmm? What am I doing wrong? Jam Jim, sh <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. No sass from you. There we go, that's the one. Oh, imagine that, though. The damage that it would do to your torso and your wrists. Ugh. I did it. I never said I was good at this game on a side note. I've beaten it a couple times, but it doesn't mean I'm good by any stretch. Knock, knock! Wires are fizzing about you, Faith. Sounds like some blues are headed your way. News chopper tipped them off. Huh? A package. Hint. Eggs are hidden in stash points that are collect. I don't think they're actually important. They're just, like, items that you can get. Look down. No! <laughs> And uh, you should always try to avoid to get away from hostiles. All right. Hey, drop the bag and put your hands where we can see them. Oh, just get the hell out of there. <laughs> they have guns. Get out of there. Also, using a great system. Hope I'm going the right way right now. Faith's on her way. Get your ass ready to move. Yeet! Oh, didn't hit the button fast enough. Oh! Sorry that I can't look at chat right now. They're getting mad at me, boys. Enemies, try to get past, runners. Blue's ahead. You're gonna have to get through them. Eat! <laughs> Good night. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. Ah! Oh, I think I'm supposed to go up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ow! All right, nerd. Let's go. Now. I'm glad you can. <gasps> oh, please. Please. Thank you. I don't want to look down. Get to Celeste. There are more blues on the way. Tell me other things I'm supposed to do. Hey, show me the bag. Oh, that's her name. It's Celeste. <laughs> okay, I got it from here. Okay, they're playing rough cell. I'll be fine. Get out of here! <gasps> Chopper? Oh, worse. Squat! Swat! I tried to say squad and swat simultaneously. Oh, I was right. You gotta get off that roof, Faith. Don't care how you do it, just do it. Do we jump? You're not showing me anything. Nope, that was not the right way! I'm sorry! Ah! <laughs> get to Celeste. That wasn't the right way, clearly. You gotta get off that roof, mate. Don't care how you do it, just do it. Oh my god, that's what it was? Yeah. 
Oh, this is so much worse. This is so much worse. The faith drop. This is meant to be a low key job. Why the hell were they shooting? What did you do? Nothing. They just opened fire. It's true, they just opened fire, so what dude. What's happening? I'll ask around. Get your ass back to base, face. Ooh. And we're back. We've zend. Cutscene. We all knew it was going to happen. Say again, Officer Connors. Going to see Pope. Robert Pope. Taking a statement on that break-in last week? Yeah, anyways, it's uh, 56 West Arlen Drive. Tell Lieutenant Miller. Copy that. I'll relay the message, Officer Connors. Thanks. Connors out. Hello, sis. You there, kiddo? Hey, Mark. But you're listening to the chatter. You know me. We'll try and get some sleep. It's been a rough day. I'm gonna put the word out tomorrow. See why those blues got itchy trigger fingers. I'll drop by later, okay? And don't chuck that pizza. I like the topping Matured. for sure. Yeah, I know. See you, Mark. Shots fired. Repeat, shots fired. All units proceed to 56 West Arlen Drive immediately. Proceed with caution. Kate! Oh! <gasps> This deck, of, this tower of cards is falling. Where are you, Kate? Where are you? Hey. Merc. You off? Just get on comms and track me. Man, they did such a great job with the 2D. It's so smooth. Sorry about earlier. You're fine, Avatar. It was a, it was a very solid way to approach things. Almost there. That's well, where we gotta go. Like R P N A. I don't know what the hell that means. My sister. Uh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on. Give me a second. And sorry for if I've missed any messages. It looks like the majority of people. Its basic idea is. Ah. <laughs> hey, Will. Can you not fuck this up? I'm sorry, everyone. You know me. I'm a bit of a screw up. Oh, that's high voltage. <laughs> I hate that every time you hear the name Mark, your mind goes to oh hi Mark. Yeah, you right. Yeah, get get fucked, random rat. I guess. Also, thank you for the bonk. Is, th is that what it is, Jam Jam? Is that what it is? No, no, and it's not an N, it's an ant. So by your logic, it would be rocks, penis, and ass. <laughs> Which, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say it. That's weird, dude. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Appreciate you telling him what's going on there. You know me, bit of a screw up. Whoops, that high voltage. Wow, thanks, Lear. You know he was running for mayor, right? Finally, someone who could actually oh, make a difference button. in this place. Hold on, wrong button. Still learning, relearning the ropes. There we go. gonna fight me on this. That's fine. I don't even think I don't, well, don't even know if I'm supposed to go up or not. Oh, wait. There's probably a door below me. No? The door openings? Oh. Down this way. Well, that's fair. Aha! Your guts are churning, you feel like jelly. I'm sorry, Jam Jam. Like I said, some people are not gonna like this game. 
I really hope I'm doing the correct thing here. If not, I'm so sorry, everybody. And then Lear could just make fun of me again. <gasps> Roll! Yes, we did it. We're good. We good, see. I'm sure you can make that joke. I, uh, I appreciate that, Lear. Are you actually dead? <laughs> no faith in me whatsoever. Startled that I managed to do it. Oof. Up we go, please. Just up, please. No particular location. Avian flu. The taste of New Eden restaurant for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even just a snack. The taste of New Eden. It's a little bit of paradise. <gasps> paradise. Avian flu. Uh, City Eye reports the troubling uh, expansion of this deadly disease. An editorial by mayoral candidate Robert, uh, Robert Pope. We live in a city of millions. A safe city, a kind city, and yet long ago the city was burning with fires of siddle dis- Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to read that fast enough. I tried. You were 100% Lear. Why are you bully? <gasps> oh no. Oh dear. Kate? What are you doing here? What happened? Did you- No! You don't recognize him? Should That's Pope, I? isn't it? It's Robert. Robert Pope? Friend of Dad's? Shit, that Pope. He called me. We hadn't talked much since I joined up. Oh, he dear. He had a break-in last week. He's still a campaigner. Don't you read the news? It's not news anymore. It's advertising. He was running for mayor. So the break-in must have really spooked him, then. That's what I thought. But it was odd. He told me about the break-in, asked me to come, then asked after you. Really? I haven't seen him for at least ten years. Anyway, Ooh. he was alive when I got here. Just sitting at his desk, writing. Everything went black. When I came to, he'd been shot. And I'm pretty sure it was with my gun. There was a book on the desk. A diary. It was gone. I'm sure there was someone else in the building. Left my radio in the car. Haven't had time to phone it in. Come on. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. This isn't the time to run. I'm not like you. Running will just make me look guilty. You think this was an accident, Kate? There are no accidents in this city. Someone wanted him dead and wanted you to take the fall. Help me, Effie, please. You've got contacts. Effie. There's got to be more to this. Something he knew. Something he wanted to tell me. I can't get involved in this, Kate. You know what I do. I just great can't. Blue's incoming, Faith. You might want to be outgoing right about oh now. Oh. I'll see what I can do. If this goes down badly, find Lieutenant Miller, my superior. Take anything you find to him. I'm serious, Faith. Remember, they're not playing nice. Get out of there. Now go! And Faith, thank you. Hug. We love our sister. Gosh dang it. I already forgot her name because I'm really, really bad with names. There you go. Shit! Oh. Get out of that building, Faith. Move! You are surrounded! Oh! I- Oh, good lord! <laughs> Squad swarming on you, Faith. Find a way out of there. Oh, they're so lovely, aren't they? Excuse me, gentlemen. Could you please tell me which direction I need to go? Oh, you're going to shoot at me instead? Well, that's not particularly helpful, is it? Open sesame? Should be an exit. Nope. Woohoo! Ah. Goodbye. Okay, that way. Thank God that it's t it has a location to tell me. Whoop. Thank you. Oh. Sorry, everybody, once again. Uh, alt. Right, up. Uh. Nope, incorrect. Hold on, I got this. Oh, come on now. Are you gonna do this to me right now? Thank you. 
Please hurry. I can hear the bullets. Alright, we're good, Chief. We are not okay. They know I'm in the vent. <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh, right, shift. Run as we shoot at you. Oh, goodness. Who else is excited about what's happening right now? Is this exciting for anybody else? Is this fun? Yeet! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That bird ain't playing around. Get your ass to the CEC news building. I'm finding you a way out. I'm trying, bud. Apologies for the uh, for the not reading chat for a second. I'm trying not to get shot. <laughs> what the hell, move, face? What do you mean, what the hell move? What do you think I'm doing? Wow, wow indeed. He's being such a butthole right now. Did I do it? Nope, I fucked up. I was about to say I didn't jump in the right spot. I thought I could maybe hop over that. Tell me to move again, bud. Boom, we're gonna have a problem. Did I grab my spot? Oh, thank God. Please? Please climb up? Thank you. Oh, it's upwards. Oh! Oh! Please! Ah! I'm hit. It's over. Oh my God, they just won't hold up. No, wrong way. Upwards, please. No, with it. Oh, that's an entire SWAT. Boys. Hi, <laughs> nerds. Oh, jeez, okay. All right, chill. All right, one second. Let me read some messages. Being chased by Choppa, by stormtroopers. Homegirl better put a helmet on. She <laughs> This is like stray, but way less third-person cat and way more. Oh my god! <laughs> Child's play. Just don't get hit. Uh, have you tried not dying? Thanks, everyone. If I had a superpower. It would be to make the ground sparkle and make loud noises as if I was being shot by a helicopter. Stray working title was Mirror's Edge. Hold my beer. Absolutely. Dodge, dodge the bullets. Doing my dangdest. Why the floor is colored like this? It's because it's supposed to imply that this is a safe area. Yay, that didn't take as long as I thought. Are you winning? Welcome back, Bells. Glad to see you back. Hold on, so what was the other quail? Oh, no, we're missing things. Uh, stream is making me want to play this game. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lear. Welcome back, welcome back. Indeed, stream makes me want to play this game for the first time. This is incredible. Jam Jam, it's a great game. Like, it's literally just more of this, and it's really good. Thank you very much, Operator, and thank you very much for lurking. I hope that you're having a good day. I hope that, uh... Pathologic 2 was treating you nicely. Ah! 
Just cause. Thank you for the bits. Very much appreciated. I know that I saw like legit question for a second. But I don't know where it is. Uh, is there a reason they color coded the floors genuine? Pre uh, uh, yeah, Erwin. Uh, specifically, they like using um, whites, blues, and reds. Reds specifically to draw your attention. Four Button Soul, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Freedom. Welcome, 4B. Hello, Navek. Spencer, hello. Oh, you were playing Call of Duty Warzone. How was Warzone treating you? Mr. Uh, Silver-haired, dreamy-eyed, wonderful boy. Also known as Four Button Soul. <laughs> I hope that they that the game was treating you well. Welcome everybody. For those who don't know, my name is Will Sleeps Not. You may call me Will. You may call me Slips. You Sleeps. I can't even say my own name properly. Call me whatever the heck you want. Uh, I am an insomniatic ADHD VTuber who plays a variety of games, and we just uh, started playing Mirror's Edge. Literally, we've only played about thirty minutes of it because I don't know when to shut up and actually play a game. Warzone is more fun than it should. It was more fun than it should be. Than it should be, eh? And I call you slips. You can, but I'm going to forget that I made that mistake, uh, Lear. So there's a good chance that uh, <laughs> that uh, I'll, I'll I'll be just I'll I'll not recognize what you're saying. And thank you very much for it. I made it myself. I'm trying to look like the character of the game. It kind of works. <laughs> Call you won't because you're will not. Jam Jam, do we need to have some words? Is this gonna be like one of those like Discord calls where it's just like, uh, can I see you in the other chat for a second? And we both just leave the chat and everybody's like concerned about what's happening and then we just come then we both just come back, but both of us are just dead quiet <laughs> and no one knows what happened. <laughs> well slips not, that's really good at hockey. Would be really good. <laughs> well played, Avatar. Too bad I don't play a lot of hockey. And thank you, Bells. <laughs> but I'm glad you were having fun for me. I've been hearing that a fair bit, actually, that people are just like, I was not prepared for this game to actually be this much fun. And I'm like, oh, do I need to, like... Go take a peek at this at some point. I've seen a little bit of gameplay. It looks pretty solid. I sadly didn't get a chance to watch your stream today because I got... I've been playing a lot of Dwarf Fortress. So... The world is kind of, a uh, Has kind of disappeared for me a little bit. <laughs> so I apologize for not being able to pop into stream. Because... Uh, I would never do that, Jam Jam. It would just be stern talking to. <laughs> Turn off voice chat. Not surprising that you would say that. Not surprising at all. Sorry, hold on. Characters. There we go. Now we're back in the game. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Come on. Come back to me, game. I know I alt-tabbed and you don't like that. Yeah, man. You can hear the music. I know you're there. Please, I believe in you. It's because I don't know how the save system works anymore and it might mean... Could cause potential chaos. Nope, I think I crashed the game. Hell yeah, I'm an absolute champion. <laughs> Alright. Well, give me a second while I restart the game. As I oopsie-daisied it. Does not like alt tabbing very much, so I need to be a little more careful with that. Don't worry, it's a quick up. It's a quick, uh, it's a quick load. We're just gonna have to figure out how far behind we are, because I don't know exactly where the uh, where the save points are. If we have to redo that section, that's my bad. So. <sighs> Thank you, Jam Jam. <laughs> and Avatar, we're doing our best. We're going to get this baby back. We're going to do it. We're going to get them back where they need to be. Also, if that was super loud, I apologize. That intro likes to be loud. A new game. Let's see where we're at. 
Also, look at how fluid that animation was. Oh, are we right here? Are we right where we are? Oh, we didn't lose anything. Story here at City Eye Channel News. Attorney and mayoral candidate Robert Pope has been found dead in his offices on West Arlington. Reports confirm that Pope suffered a single fatal gunshot wound to the head. If I remember correctly, Three there's some issues with the port sometimes as, as it's old. Yeah, it has some little some hiccups every now and then, but. Picking up squad cars moving in on you. You ain't got much time. Whoever it is. Oh god, they've already got the guns. <laughs> I forgot how intense this intro was. Like a little early. Oh jeez, I'm at the freaking ground floor right now. Let's go. We're on street level, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Also, clear, absolutely agree with you. I think the game still looks really nice. You know, it's older, but I think it still looks really nice. Get some air in your lungs and run, Faith. I goofed. Ooh, and the color contrast. Just keep running. Yeah, yes, of course I'm gonna keep running. Are you crazy? Anything else? Exit off the rail overpass and the ahead. Creek heads to the other side to get down. Agreed, Denzel. The the how to say it, the This is gonna be one of those games where like it doesn't need to be. Oh no. No. No! Yeah, get fucked. Oh god, no, hold on. No, I got this. Down. <laughs> Head up onto the rail overpass. It's the only way through. <laughs> Come on, I survived. I did it. I beat those boys up. Shut up. There we go. Oh god. That's great and all, but like... Oh, I gotta run along the thing. Please don't fuck up. Okay, good. We're doing great. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh! What's going on, buddy? You're looking mighty silver right now. You okay? Yes. Come on. Yeah, falling through glass. Take good faith. No word on what's got the blues so trigger happy, but I'll keep on it. And um, don't worry about your sis, okay? We'll fix it. We'll fix it. What the hell, Merc? Something's got somebody rattled, kiddo. I don't know what it is, but they're mighty jittery. Hey, Cell. Take long to lose them? Nah, those blues can't move for shit. They've gotten a little gun happy, though. Wires are fizzing about Pope's murder. Blue traffic is up. Way, Way up. up. Don't know what's got into them. Must be contract renewal time. Be careful out there, Cell. So why all the heat? Now a girl's been lifting evidence from a crime scene. Now every cop in the city seems to be after her. That the evidence you lifted? Yeah, I think it's from a diary. Rest of it was... Welcome. Gallo, Icarus, maybe. And to the highest... Cuban, thank you very much for the follow. Wasn't he the Greek guy? Yeah, his dad made him some wings out of feathers and wax. Then the boy flew too close to the sun. And pss, no more wings. If anyone's heard anything, then you know who it'll be, Faith. Yeah? I know he ain't a runner anymore, but he's got contacts. You can't avoid him forever. Wanna bet? Who? Jackknife. 
Jackknife. Jackpot. Drake's got a location on Jackknife. He's on some rooftops at the old runner training ground near the storm drains. Roots crawling with blues, though. Great. You can follow the canals to the Hampton Town District. Hold on. Get going. Sorry, let me read chat a little bit here. Yeah, don't need spine. The glass will break the fall. It's fine. Everything's great. <laughs> Mirror's Edge. Oh my god, Avatar, right? The idea of just jumping through glass without closing your eyes. Just like, it's fine. <laughs> okay, glass will break the fall. And so <laughs> probably several bones. Oh my god. That note said, I carry you. Uh, not exactly, but that's definitely what it means. Ah, does it? Uh, imagine Mirror's Edge, a game with a Dishonored-esque blink. Ooh, that actually sounds really neat. You really like this one, this guy? I'm so glad to hear that other people have played it as well, for b Like, this is one of those games where, like, it just sits in the back of my head from time to time because it's just uh, Uno mas. dead oh my god jam jam <laughs> go sit in the corner <laughs> you're in the timeout corner now jumping through a window never hurt anyone well i mean dang it why can i never Remember the term. Defenestration. There we go. There's a reason that we have the term defenestration, right? The act of throwing something or someone out a window. <laughs> Falling through the world and the glass is fine. But the, <laughs> but the pits killed you. I mean, I get very uncomfortable when I fall like that. It's spooky scary, but it's fine. Also, anybody whose messages I missed, I super apologize. This game takes a lot more uh, attention than I want to. And unfortunately, like you saw, uh, alt tabbing can be a little finicky. So I'm going to try not to be doing that. So if I miss your message, I super, I super apologize for that. Mikey thought you meant... Jam Jam, five more minutes in the in the shame corner. Five more minutes. Go on. <laughs> you can also just say yeet. Did I not say yeet at one point? You should play. So, 4B, I remember liking Catalyst, but I remember nothing about it except for one scene, which was like this cool area that you had to run down. It was kind of like this big, uh, like, downwards tunnel. That's not a spoiler. That's just a, a, a place in the game. And it was really neat. But I don't remember a lot of the gameplay itself. I remember reading that it wasn't very good, but I have memories of liking it. And I am going to play it on stream at some point. So please do play it. And please let me know what you think if you do play it. <laughs> <You'll be laughs> yeah, you know what, Lolfo, you also get a same amount of time in the in the shame corner. You two both just sit there, but you have to sit quietly. That's the thing. It's the shame corner. You gotta think about what you did, so it's gotta be a quiet time. <laughs> City authorities are investigating the death of attorney and mayoral candidate Robert Pope. Also, characters that have this kind of grip strength, immediate immersion breaking, am I right, fellas? Wait, am I immediately? Are you kidding? Uh, which way is it? That way, perfect. How could I have possibly avoided the chopper? Yeah, I think you shot at me before the warning there, nerds. Oh my god, who just made a joke? Avatar, you brat! 
Oh god, snipers! Ah! <laughs> oh sweet! Go, 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 go! I was wrong! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. Rat, don't get near the fences. Wait, did you say officers to assist you? Really? Man, this game predicted. We're not going to go down that road. <laughs> All right. They got you surrounded, Faith. Get yourself into the storm drain. Oh, no. This is what I was thinking. Well, now I don't know what I learned, remembered from the uh, from the other game. is bully. You all saw it. There wasn't even an ow. It was just endless falling. Alright, we got it this time. You'll see. No issues. First try. Okay, the correct way. It wasn't. I had to go this way. Oop. Oop. Jump. Roll. We're gonna walk our way through it together. We're all gonna make it, chat. It's gonna be us. You'll see. Birds bugging out. No. Looks like you're in the clear. Now get into those drains. Oh, a little too far. Hoo 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 hoo. Ha ha ha. He he ha hoo he. Oh, we made it. Like Lawful said, first try. Easy peasy. Easy game. Need to up that difficulty challenge. <laughs> Oh, this is the parkour simulator. It certainly is, uh, Bells. It's also the how much do you hate heights simulator. Because this game will mess you up. Which one is it? A button. Boop. Okay, could have approached that a little bit better, but we still got it. It's fine. Uh, the defo. Uh, we are going to be playing Titanfall 2 single player at one point as well. I just have some work to do before we, uh, we get a go about that. it that way. That works too. Yeah, whoop. This makes you glad? Jam Jam, I used to do stuff like that too. Like, if I had gone a different way in life, I probably would have gotten into parkour. <laughs> and maybe potentially have died because of it. <laughs> Friends, 
Easy. It's fine. Oh. Keep going. Don't think those blues won't come down here. They won't. They're babbies. Hey, getting something on the wires. Oh. Shit. Looks like they anticipated you might duck in here and send a sniper team ahead. A sniper team. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no. Oh no, even worse. Begins anew. What's the time there? Uh, one minute. Kitten sneezes. Fight me, Bells. Fight me. <laughs> why am I getting sneeze? Why am I getting? Why am I getting bullied for sneezing? Sniper ain't got nothing on me. You'll see. Words. Take those snipers out or keep out of their way. Just get your ass through there. You get fucked. Excuse me. Oh, I shouldn't be here. This <laughs> is holding this giant sniper rifle like, uh. Uh... Do I need to jump across or do I need to go that way? That way, so I think I can do it if I build enough speed. So let's build a little bit of speed here. Oop. Yep, we can make it. Aw, oh, you threw away the sniper. I had to, Lear. For the sake of myself, you know? Actually pick the right spot. Oh no. They're inside. Get oh god. Oh god. Uh open? Sesame? Button? Button. We're good. We're good. Oh come on, I know I can grab that. <laughs> Oh, imagine how wet everything is here. Oh no. Let's go. Yeet. Nope, yeeting was the biggest mistake. <laughs> I wish I could do these things, IRL. I wouldn't do them, but I'd like to know that I could. Lawful, I have one memory of myself doing something like that. In uh, in high school, I had a moment where we had drama class, and I don't remember what the heck was happening. But um, uh, I was standing semi close, or I was standing on the other side of the the stage, and the stage was probably about five feet high. And I just remember chatting with some friends. They're just like, wouldn't it be amazing if you could jump onto that stage? And I was just like, bet. And just ran at the stage full force and somehow managed to jump so that I got my feet to almost my head level and just like jumped onto the stage and just like laid on my side and just slid along it. It was ridiculous. Also, Erwin, you have yourself a good stream. Wasn't sure if you were streaming or not. What do you mean, Blue? It's fine. If I had not done it correctly, I probably would have really hurt myself. But I didn't. I just slid along it, like very, like, sideways, like, as such. There were only, like, three people that saw me do it. No one else noticed. Everyone else was busy doing their own thing, but the people who did were just like, 
what the fuck? And even I was just like, ooh, am I glad that works? <laughs> Or not. I guess I'm not supposed to run along the side. <laughs> Good job surviving. Why, thank you. Apparently, I'm uh, better at doing this IRL, or better at doing it IRL than I am in the game, because I'm bad. Those people, I'm pretty sure most of them were just like, why did he do that? And to be fair to them. Okay, we're going to do this again. Oh. Wait, can I? There we go. I figured it out, everybody. You can ship me along the wall. <laughs> and Lear, I'm pretty sure you're right. I'm pretty sure that would have worked well, but this game was always pretty good at being like, all right, we'll give you a couple different ways to do it. I guess you could do that too if you're lame. Exactly. Lear gets it. I'm being a lame-o right now. Uh, you can't just stop me there when that thing's about to come back down again. Uh. I had two thoughts going through my head simultaneously, and I tried to act on both of them, which is not something that you can do in this game. You need to very much pick your poison in the moment. And I definitely was like, yeah, let's not run along the wall. Let's do the other thing. <laughs> this game was inspired by me. I don't think so, Blue. I think that that was just a dumb high school thing that I did. And should never do again. It was stupid. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Did this game want uh, you to do parkour? Oh my god, yes. Oh my goodness gracious, yes. This game was probably, could have been a very bad influence for me. Luckily, it was not. And welcome back, by the way, Stitches. You uh, fruit froggy emote puttin' Lad, there we go. Nailed it. First try. Oh, thank God. Oh. That's oh, fine, guys. It's fine. I remember watching a lot of parkour videos. <laughs> Me too. Me too. And then being just like. I would break my neck doing this. All right. Beam us up, Scotty. We're not. Oh. Oh my god, I hit shift. I'm so stupid. <laughs> In my head, shift is still the, um, is still the sprint button. You know, that is a muscle memory. I'm gonna get it right. I'm sorry everybody who's had to witness me play really bad. There we go. Now we're good. <laughs> I have to, I have to push that muscle memory out of my system. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, that way, eh? Towards the cops? Nope. <laughs> 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 
I got I got way too cocky. This is a game where you don't do the run and guns. This is a game where you need to not. Where you need to not. Yeah, you know what? That's that's perfect. Where you need to not. All right. So I need to get open to that door. I need to get to the trucks. Okay. Yes, I should be able to do that. That felt so good in the moment. Oh! No, please. Are you telling me that's not climbable? Get on the truck! Oh my god, I didn't hit jump! Oh! oh wait, I can hit the R. The R, I can hit the R, I can hit the R. Oh my god. Give me that shotgun, you dolt. Anyone else? Oh. That dude is just taking those hits, eh? The gun is empty! Oh god! No, 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 I'm so bad! Why am I so bad? <laughs> What is the range on what is that range on shotgun? For them, infinity. For me, ten feet maximum. Alright. Alright. Cause I just want to see the animation again. Smack. Say, no one's sneaking up on me. I shouldn't be doing this. This is not what this game is about. <gasps> oh! Hi! I think I did it. I might have cleared them by accident. Able to make it from there. <gasps> oh. Yes, there we go. We did it. It took a second, but we did it. <laughs> Look, Jackknife may know something about Pope's murder, so don't mm -hmm. let him wind you up, okay? He used mm -hmm. to be a pretty decent runner. God knows who he's working for now. Who is he working for? Who are you working for? Lighting to a kick is a good way to avoid getting shot while attacking. You are correct, but I... Oh. Look at this stupid face. He's so stupid. Doesn't he look so stupid with his dumb jacket? Oh, well, we'll just shimmy through. Why are you like this, nerd? Huh? <laughs> All right, we got this. We're gonna get him. And also save Trip Pom Pom. <gasps> Old man noises when I hit the when I hit the scary parts. Oh no, we got this. I promise. Thought I was gonna get that better. All right, jump. Why are you running? What? I'm not allowed up there. There we go. Uh. Oh, he went over that way. Oh, that was a mistake.
It's fine. It's fine, everybody. It's fine. I'm sorry for missing so many messages, by the way. Alright, this time we're doing it smoothly. Sorry, gonna go hyper focus for a second here. Indeed. I'm sure Avatar made a hilarious joke just now. If I were to take a guess, it's what he does. He's a residential comedian, absolute champion of the co of the comedy. I don't know how I look on camera right now, but I'm pretty sure I look ridiculous because I am in the hyper of hyper focus right now. But I jumped. <laughs> the game does lead you to where you need to go, so I feel kind of silly that I was uh, falling behind so much on these. There it is. Always on the side. All right, what did I miss here? Oh god, I missed a lot of things. Lawful, I'm sorry. Good luck with the good luck with the conference call. Oh, look at this brat. Oh. I think he's dead. Can you find another way through to him? My God, that's actually the way, isn't it? All right. Pray for me, everybody, that this is the right choice. Pipe, climb up a bit. Jump. Uh, jump, oh, thank God. Jump. Get up to here. Jump across. We're all okay. Ooh. Get sweaty. The game's making me sweat. Wait, hey, is that how I gotta do it? No. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, the game was nice. Oh, the game was nice. Thank God. Murder, Jack. I heard a cop did it. You heard wrong. You a fan of wrestling, Faith? Pope was a wrestling fan. He even employed an ex-wrestler to handle his security. Travis Burfield used to go by the name of Ropeburn. Is this going somewhere? Ropeburn? Well, he's really just a thug who got lucky. And sometimes people are too ignorant to see their place. Always want to swim in the big pond. Never see the bigger fish. If I were you, I'd start with a glorified slab of meat. Happy hunting, Faithy. Listen, I don't know about going to Rope Burn straight away. I'm not. I'm gonna see Miller. Oh, Faith, what are you doing? You gonna tell him about Jackknife? Not yet. He's still a cop. No matter what Kate says. What? We're learning a lot of things right now, boys and girls. <gasps> Cutscene! Lieutenant Miller? I'm Faith. Kate's sister? She never mentioned a sister. Yeah, well, we're not the mentioning kind. She told me to find you if things went bad. She's been arrested. 
And you wouldn't be the suspect seen fleeing from the crime scene, would you? Well now, it's difficult to recall with a gun in my face. I know what you are. You know it was a setup, right? I know Kate wouldn't be capable of something like this. But my captain's asking some difficult questions, and I can't even get in to see her. What do you know about something called Icarus? Why? Why? It's mentioned on this. It was in Pope's hand. I think it's from his diary. You took evidence. Kate's the only family I have, Lieutenant. And Blue's in jail don't last long. She goes down for this. It's a death sentence. I won't stop you. I owe that much to Kate. But there are plenty of people who'll try. And I can't stop them either. You better learn how to run. Running is what I do best. Have to say, and then Batman, Batman style. Poof, God. Rope Burns got an office at Sea Burfield International Shipping near the Riding Park Subway. Should be a sign on top of the building. It'll help guide you. Look, I saw Rope Burn wrestle once. Broke some poor bastard's arm, then headbutted the ref. So if this Rope Burn really is mixed up with Pope's murder and Kate's setup, then he sure won't be a talker. He'll be a fighter. Oh dear. Really go off, right? It's the the animation style that they use for the cutscenes, that like really interesting 2D style feels so freaking good in my opinion. Like it's got such a nice Ugh. It's lovely. Alright, let me check chat really quickly. But an idiot probably thought he looked cool. Probably did blue. He's dumb though. And we don't like him. Because he's dumb. He just made up a wrestler. <laughs> you ever heard a rope burn? Yeah. He took on swinging chair last week. Absolutely ruined him. You'd think that that would have been the end for rope burn, but he tagged out with keyboard masher. Absolute champion. I think you have to go, Lear. I was just about to actually start wrapping up stream. So you are not going to miss anything whatsoever. But still, I super appreciate you coming by. It's always great having you here. <laughs> the way that she does the disappearing act two or three times, right? Just got that gone feel to it. <laughs> Keyboard basher. <laughs> I was just looking around the room looking for something to, to do. It's just like chair, yeah. Chair, that's a good one. Keyboard, I have one of those. So, uh, this is a great point to actually stop because we are about to go hunt down our freaking rope burn boy. He's dumb and he's big and he's stupid. That's all that we know about him. So, we are going to looky and see right raid. But while we're looking that up, what did you guys think of the game so far? Are you liking it? Are you not liking it? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we feeling? Nope. Hold on. You can feel it in your stomach. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Too many mirrors. But we're on the mirror's edge. Denzel, come on. You liking it so far? I'm glad to hear that, Bells. Let's see. All right, so we have WoW. Minecraft. We have Sea of Thieves. Of Dark Tide. Dark Tide. There we go. Only gonna set that for one minute. So I've given you guys some options as to what you, uh, where we can be going in terms of things. You like the aesthetic too damn much, really, or love the aesthetic too damn? I think the aesthetic is fantastic. So, uh, like that alone, like the aesthetic of this game draws me in so much because it has such a good. It's got such a good feel. Like it just looks nice. Like even though it's 12 years old, it's still just like, this is a great looking game. It had this style that just kind of holds true. 
So I'm really looking forward to when we get through this game that we can also play um, Catalyst because I want to see how Catalyst holds up. If it's better, if it's worse, if it's about the same. I hope it's the same. That's my... Uh, a f yeah, a futuristic world that doesn't look... Right, because it's basically just a... Um, how to say it? It's a surveillance state, essentially. You know, like it's high police... The people who fall, fall in line. You people are the worst. Who did this? Why are you like this? Is Lawful still here? Is that what this is about? Fine. I'm rolling the dice. But I agree, Avatar. Yeah, it's got this nice, like, it's not hyper-futuristic. It's like... 30 years in the future. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 far enough that things have changed, but it's not so far that it's like uh how to describe. It's got kind of like a kind of like the one individual who pops in every now and then. Dystopia of Utopia. You know, it's got like a utopian feel with the dark, you know, with the dark underbelly that you need to be like worried about. Let's give ourselves a little dice roll here. Dang it, the poll disappeared. Let me look at the poll results really quick. Love Utopian aesthetic? I do too. I think it's very neat looking. All right, so one and two is Minecraft. Three and four is uh, Sea of Thieves. And five and six is Dark Time. And we are going to Sea of Thieves with a four. So we're going to go ahead and raid Nivek. He has popped in a couple of times. His avatar looks a little, he is a 3D VTuber who looks like he's a bit of like a private eye VTuber. He's a nice, but he's a nice lad. We're going to go ahead and say hello to him. Grab his quickly. There it is. He is playing Sea of Thieves at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and say hello. So we're going to do S, raid F. So if you are subscribed, please use the top raid message. If you are not subscribed, please use the bottom raid message. If you would like to use your own, by all means do so. Just make sure that it is wholesome. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited that we're starting a new game. It has been very, very fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes because I it's been a while since I've played. It's nice to, to brush off those memories a little bit and recharge them a little bit. But thank you guys very much for sticking around. I hope that you guys are having a great day, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever time it might happen to be for you. I forgot the first part of the thing, and now I'm looking silly. I'm looking, I'm, I'm making myself look bad in front of the dudes right now. So thank you very much for for everybody who is here. Whether you were chatting, whether you were lurking, whether you just popped in and out for a second, know that you are super appreciated. All twenty of you, you absolutely majestic individuals. I hope that you're having a great day, evening, or night, whatever time it might happen to be for you. I hope that you're taking care of yourselves. I hope that you're drinking plenty of water. And when you finally do sleep, whatever time it might happen to be for you, I hope that you have a very restful sleep. I will see you guys over in the next uh, chat. I will hopefully see you guys next time. Also, right, collab on Saturday. It's going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I will see you there, hopefully. Goodbye.